guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i promise i look better than this most of the time but right now i'm in the middle of a packing i'm putting together a bunch of outfits so i figured this would be the best time to show you guys how i put all of my outfits together so when i'm choosing out my outfits i consider four things obviously the destination the weather and then also i choose like a color theme based on the destination that i'm going to so i kind of try to define my mood and the tone of the trip or the day now we can apply all those rules and i'll show you guys what i have pulled out for now first thing i have my color scheme everything is still undecided and i'm like putting together the outfits as we go but i thought i would do this with you guys on camera for scottsdale arizona i wanted like earthy tones so i have a few deeper camel tones and then everything else is like pretty much like light greens and neutral whites and nudes second of all i decided i wanted to be semi dressy for this trip and that's why you see i have a few pair of heels picked out but then i also have some sandals also it's extremely hot in arizona right now so i really tried to choose like really light fabrics so this is a gorgeous dress made out of linen um this is a really flowy um wide leg pant that comes with like a duster i'll show you guys the duster it's so cute so it comes with like this duster so it's a cord set and i'm thinking just to wear like a bodycon underneath and it would just be really loose and flowy there is another pair of linen pants and a linen top this one unfortunately i will have to wear like a white layering top underneath but that's the only layer i will have here and then here is a white blouse with some like detail sleeves and i thought that was beautiful and this is cotton so i thought this would be perfect for a hot day and i just plan on wearing a normal tank top underneath here because i don't think it's too sheer and then i just have some jeans and then this is the exact same thing as that i couldn't decide which color i wanted so i have both of them right now and i also haven't styled these yet so i'll show you guys kind of how i would style this so i'm thinking because it's a little bit too basic for me i would probably definitely pair this outfit with a hat so i'm gonna come here and grab one of my hats so I think that already looks super cute and then depending on what color the hat is is what I will choose for my hijab so I usually just have like four hijabs to choose from they're all basically nudes but I will choose the perfect shade of nude for each outfit so like for this outfit I would probably choose this nude Actually, that's a little bit too dark, so I'm going to go with this guy, which is obviously matching a lot better. So that's how I choose my hijab. I always choose my hijab either based off of my hat or I choose the hijab based off of like my color palette of the outfit. So this, since this outfit is like really neutral, I decided I just will keep a neutral hijab. And then lastly, to tie the whole look together, I would always choose my shoes to match my hijab. So I'm going to come over here and see what I have. I'm thinking... Either this um, white sandals if I want to be casual that day or even these might be cute. So I'm going to take both of these over there. Okay, so that nude definitely doesn't match. Okay, this looks a lot cuter. I love that. Okay, lastly, I choose my handbag or my last accessory, whether those are sunglasses or whatever. So for handbags, I am a little bit more lenient. So I kind of do a bold color or I'll do something that doesn't necessarily match. I just feel like it pops and it makes the whole outfit kind of look more chic. So I feel like this outfit would be so cute. I'm so sorry, this hijab is like not showing up as the right color and it's like throwing the whole outfit off. So I'm just gonna take it out of the equation right now so you guys can kind of see what we're working with so i feel like this is cute um if this bag is like a little too dark then i'll probably just pair this whole look with my white louis which unfortunately i don't have here in my room so one outfit done moving on to the next look i have this white top that i did mention i would have to pair a long sleeve top underneath um, and then these pants are not sheer so i always test out the pants before i leave because i don't want that mishap where my legs are see-through so i think i'm gonna keep this really casual so i'm coming here to get a white top i just like all my layering pieces here with the outfits so i don't forget anything so there goes that and hmm i'm deciding if i want to wear heels or flats with this honestly i might just do flats so i think i'll reuse these with this outfit, I want more of like a tote handbag. So I'm going to go with 
this tote that I got from H&M. I feel like the bag also gives it a little bit more detail and brings a little bit more color in. So this is perfect. I'm going to come here and pick my hijab. I think this one. So put the hijab there. And boom, outfit number two done. Moving on to the third one. Okay, so this is a cord set. I'm gonna fix it so you guys can really see what it looks like. So this is the set. It doesn't look that cute on camera. I'm gonna put a picture of the model here on the screen so you guys get a better idea. But this is like an open duster and it's like really, really like flowy. It has tons of cuts. And I really love the statement blue sleeves. And then these are high rise pants with a tie at the top. So I feel like this is an outfit by itself. I don't have to add anything other than layering pieces. So I'm thinking if I want to do a stark white top underneath or do like a more muted nude underneath to make it blend. And I think I'm gonna do the muted nude. So come here and where is my nude? Here it is. I get my basics from Amazon and Uniqlo. I'll link everything down below, so. Put the top underneath so you guys can see what it would look like and imagine that tucked in into those pants and I think that's super cute. And for this, I definitely want a lighter bag because the outfit itself is already dark. So I don't know. I think I'm going to do the white LV with this and it would look super cute. Or I would do this crossbody because I feel like I need to give my outfit or my body a little bit more shape since both the top and the bottom are a little flowy I feel like the shape of the body gets lost and then a crossbody kind of like accentuates that if that makes any sense and then for sandals I'm actually gonna go for a nude pair of sandals that are similar to this but I just don't have them upstairs with me the last outfit is a dress it's a tiered dress with ruffle sleeves it's super cute and girly and I definitely want to keep this a girly fun look so I'm gonna pair heels with this look and I'm going to put in these camel ones to give it more of a little pop. And then I also want to wear a hat with this look because I think that would look super, super cute. So I'm going to grab my hat and put that there. So cute. And then I'm going to wear a hijab that matches that hat and my dress. So let me grab that. So that is a super cute look. And then for my purse, I'm going to do this handbag with this fit because it just matches the heels really well. And I just feel like it's a really fun, like trendy look. So yay, there are all of my outfits. That was super easy. Got it done in less than 10 minutes. I know this wasn't like the most professional setup, but I just wanted to keep it casual because I am like honestly truly packing in the moment. So here is my suitcase. Obviously it's pink, it's super cute. So all there's left to do is start packing. Um, and obviously I'm gonna be packing like pajamas and skincare makeup and hair products and all of that. But for this video, I just wanted to keep it simple and share with you guys kind of like how I plan my outfits because I thought that would be really helpful. <laughs> what my suitcase is looking like right now so I have all of my outfits on one side and then on the other side I have all of my accessories uh, my shoes my handbags my hijabs my hats are stuffed in here and yeah all there's left to do is pack my makeup toiletry um, skincare pajamas and undergarments and then I'm good 
to go. But that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. I thought this would be a lot more helpful than just doing a pack with me vlog. So let me know if you guys liked it. My next vlog will be the trip with my cousins in Scottsdale. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!